Good morning, everyone. I read a line yesterday, just uh, a prayer, where someone says, God, do not, uh, don't, do not let me die before my life is over. And what I took it to mean is that sometimes we die while we're still alive, which means we stop living, we stop dreaming, we stop yearning and hoping for more. We just become complacent, we become timid, we become, uh, you know, uh, we, 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 we give up before the, the, the life is over. You know, in this week's Parsha it says, there's a verse that's almost identical to a verse in last week's Parsha. It says, Abraham came Baba Yamin. Abraham grew old, he came in his days. He came along in his days. And this is the verse that introduces the longest chapter in the Torah, the chapter about the marriage, the arranged marriage that Abraham sends his servant Eliezer to find a wife for his son Yitzchak and successfully finds Rivka. However, this almost identical verse is found in last week's parsha. When the angels came and said they're going to have a child, it says, Avram the Saraz the Kenim Bayim Bayamim. And that was 41 years earlier, because Abraham was then 99 years old, now he's 140, because Isaac's 40 years old when he gets married. So the Torah already said he was old and in his days at the age of 99. Now at 140, it says the same words again, Abraham Zakeim Baba Yamim. And also the question is, why does it have to say Baba Yamim? If somebody became old, he's obviously along in his days. You don't have to say he came in his days. So one of the beautiful answers given is that Abraham grew old and he came into his days, meaning he lived each day fully. Sometimes when you get old, you sort of say, okay, I'm winding down, I'm over the hill, I'm past my prime, eh, let's just relax and retirement and mark the days. And someone once said, Florida is God's waiting room. You know, we're in the waiting room and that's it, you know, until God calls us. Says Abraham is 140, you know what he's saying? I gotta marry off my son, I need to find the shidduch, let's get going, Elias, I need, right? He was active until the very end. He didn't just sit back and say, it's the golden years, let's just relax. He entered into every day fully. And in light of the fact that he had gone through so much difficulty in his life, think about Abraham's life, it wasn't an easy life. And most recently, in the beginning of the parsha, he loses his wife, Sarah. And sometimes after the, lo the loss of a spouse, a person could become despondent, they could become depressed, they say, what do I have to live for anymore? What do I have to look forward to? I lost my, my, my beloved wife. But Abraham, despite the hardships and the challenges and the disappointments that he went through, he still lives fully. You know, there's something called detachment, right? Where when life gets too difficult, you start emotionally detaching. I don't want to get hurt anymore. I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to live fully. We are talking yesterday about the tragedy in Pittsburgh. You know, in Israel, when there's a bombing, the very next day, everyone crowds the streets and enters into their cafes and says, we're not going to fear, we're not going to pull back, we're not going to live timid existences. We're going to live fully, we're going to go right back in to whatever, wherever that tragedy occurred and we're going to show that life will continue. And that's the message of Abraham. Enter each and every day. Don't allow the hurts and the pains and the sadness and the disappointments of life to cause you to retreat from life. Don't, don't die before your life ended, as the saying goes. And that's the, the, the lesson of Abraham. He didn't just live a long life. He wasn't just old. He was old and he entered into each and every day of his life. And that's the way we have to live. We have to live all in. We have to live fully. You know, when you go to the circus, they have the big, massive elephants. And, um, you know, the expression, the elephant in the room, right? So they literally have the elephant in the circus room. And you look at the elephant, the elephant is this huge beast, weighs tons. And how do they keep the elephant in place from not running off? So they have like a chain around the leg of the elephant. And there's a little peg and it's knocked into a plank of wood. And you ask yourself, how could this little chain with a peg and a plank of wood hold down this big, huge elephant? The elephant could give one yank and the whole plank of wood will come off the floor. And you know what the answer is, believe it or not? When the baby elephant is born, they tie a chain around his leg and they, not, they, they put the peg in the ground and the baby elephant wants to go free, he schleps, he schleps, he can't. The next day he tries again, he tries again. After years of trying to pull his leg out as a baby and can't, he literally comes to believe that he can't. And now for the rest of his life, even when he becomes this massive elephant weighing tons, 
he still is chained, not by the peg in the ground, he's chained by the mental chain and belief that he can't pull himself out of the ground. And he lives this, I, this controlled life because of the memory and the belief that he developed that he can't pull himself out of that chain. And human beings are like that very much. Every time we go through a challenge, a hurt, a pain, it's, it's seared into our being, into our psychological framework. And we believe certain things, I can't do this, I can't accomplish that, I can't achieve that. And we don't live fully because these old beliefs are holding us back. And therefore Abraham teaches us, don't just grow old, but enter into each and every day. Be vulnerable, don't be afraid to live fully. All those things you're afraid to do, like call the person you haven't spoken to in 10 years because I'm going to get hurt again and I don't want to do it. Or whatever it is that's holding you back, don't be like that elephant who's chained down. Realize your potential, your strength. And live every day like Abraham, Baba Yamin, enter into each and every day wholeheartedly and sincerely, and then you will live fully, and that's what we learn from Abraham.